Well, oh. uh, I need to mention why <laughs> Keith is laughing. We have Reggie Jackson I haven't seen in the booth with us. How you been? Why don't you sit down? You're older, we, than, you're we, older than me. Do we have a microphone? If I'm 70, how old are you? <laughs> sit down. How are you? Reggie, nice <laughs> to meet you. I'm Steve Gelbs. Steve Gelbs, nice to meet you. You want to put him on headset? Yeah, let's put him on headset. All right. Never know who you're going to see here. Wasn't here to greet me. Steve, uh, no, not Steve Cohen. Bro. Steve Gelbs is here to greet you. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been? I've been great. I've been fabulous. If I was doing any better, I'd have to be twins. Okay. Well, I got a good job. Get paid to watch the game. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. <laughs> now that they're two and a half hour games now, the three and a half was rough. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I leave it. I'm like, remember Rizzuto? Remember Scooter used to say, hey, it's 930. Well, I got to get home. Yeah, he'd leave it at 730. Right? waiting for right. me to get there. Right. Keith, you've got a chair, by the way, now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you still in Arizona, living in Arizona? Uh, no. I, uh. I left there when I got out of college. Oh, really? You didn't yeah. go back? No. Well, I, I I was going to college until 28, 2018. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so Arizona State had all that. Who was, who, who was your manager then? I was a, uh, Bobby Winkles. Yes. Bobby Winkles. Yes. I live in California. Uh, I live in Monterey, Carmel. Oh, lucky you. And I you. have a home in, uh, where is my home? I have a home in, uh, in Newport Beach. And then, well, my, 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 my so, I should call her my wife. She, she takes care of that one, so she controls that. So baseball has been very, very good to both of us. Very, very, very good. Very, very, very good. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say the two of you did okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know you were doing a game. You're down here in spring training. Uh, this must is, be, yeah. You, you must be. Are you playing golf? Are you enjoying yourself? I do what are you not. doing at the game now? I thought you did five innings. You're gone. No, I. I, you have to I stay wish here I could. Reggie, yeah, he needs here. to. He needs to stay here to help me along. <laughs> okay, this is this is still new for me. <laughs> okay, let me ask you something. Are you guys going to be good this year? I think we're going to surprise. I, I do too. It's good. all about the pitching. You know that. I do know that. I do know that. I was really so sorry. I, I still root for the Yankees. I'm sorry that they. I'm really sorry to hear about. Now, Garrett Cole. Garrett, Cole. Yes, God, that's a big blow. Special, special arm and great player, great guy. I hate to see that. I can tell you, I want to. When I was in high school, you were playing out the Oakland A's. Remember they used to when you hit the home runs. Where are you going with that? Right. Fireworks would go when off. You were in high school. You know who did this to me? Marcus <laughs> Allen. Marcus <laughs> Allen did that to me. He said, Reggie, I remember you when I was five years old watching you play in the big leagues. I fell off my big wheels. Well, Reggie. Well, I wasn't five. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, if it makes you feel any better, uh, we were watching Greg Kessinger the other day. And Keith said, oh, I played with his dad. I said, no, 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 you want to feel old? You played with his grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that is, that, that's right, Don Kessinger. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Oakland A's televised on a UVS or UHS right. channel was Channel 44. Money Moore was the play-by-play -play Oh, boy, guy. yeah. And, Reggie's, I remember your rookie year. Keith Hernandez. And my Tony Santora, well, Pete was my buddy, and we'd go watch the game when he had the second floor. It was his den. And we could see across the bay. It was in Millbrae. Uh, by the Is that where airport. you're from? Yeah, uh, Pacifica. We moved as yeah, a yeah, sophomore. Yeah. I moved yeah. over to Millbrae. Yeah, yeah. But we could see the Coliseum when they put the fireworks when there's a home run. And when Reggie hit a lot of home runs there. So we'd have, we'd get a big check. I had a lot of home runs in a lot of places. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> How many gold gloves did you win? 11. 11. In a row. That's nice. That's, uh, he I should was... be a Hall of Famer, I think. Oh, really? Uh, you, 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 what was your lifetime batting average? Uh, I lost my 300 the last two years of so my 298, 296 or 7. How many home runs you hit? I only hit 2, 300? no, 300. How many did you drive in? Uh, 1,100. 11 gold gloves. 11 gold gloves. How many 296. World, batting. How many World Series? Two. With oh. the Mets and the Cardinals. There you go. And That's pretty good. You want, were you under Whitey? Yes, 82 would beat the Brewers, mm -hmm. the Brew Crew. And then, of course, 86 would beat the Red Sox with the Mets. Let's, let's bring it up to date because the, the old people aren't watching. They're asleep now. 
Yeah, so let's get let's get involved with the young people. <laughs> that ball up the glove yeah, of Montero and Wendell oh, beats that one out. Is it thrown yeah. away? Coming in to score is Narvaez. On to third is Mark Vientos, and the Mets have tied the game at one. Now there's there, there's a play there where as an as an old timer you look back and you see it there. But for for the younger kids that are watching this. When this happens and you can't get to the ball, you got to understand not to do that. <laughs> Just you hold the ball and do not throw it away. So don't lose your wits about yourself. And what will happen with us is our staff, our pitching coach will talk to a manager, someone will talk to Montero here and tell him to uh, yes, and not to do that. As a all, it's all as, learning. As a first baseman, when you're that close and the pitcher throws it that hard. Oh, at you, boy. That's, you know, you're yeah, like. Just got a duck. Yep. And a lot of people talk to me and say, Reggie, how does Astro, Astros doing? What's going on? You guys winning games? I said, well, we're not so concerned about winning games. And the reason why is you play five or six innings with your stars, and then they're gone. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the game may get out of hand or whatever. But we're getting through spring training without anyone being hurt. Right. Nobody getting the flu. No one having a little knee problem or shoulder or this or that. And then we got Verlander that's a little tender. And I think Abreu, our first baseman, had something happen to his knee. That is smoked into left field. Tyrone Taylor. Gives the Mets the lead with an RBI single. But as far as, as who's winning games down here, you, you want the Mets to get through spring training and be prepared to have the pitchers ready, be prepared to have the outfielders and the infielders and Lindor and your guys, Alfonso, uh, uh, Alonso, ready to play the game. So, yes. Reggie, let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. Because you have been now in this game a long time not just obviously playing but i know you spent a lot of spring trainings with the yankees now in your role with the astros years. right uh, what do you try to impart to the young players okay. especially in this day and age where things are so different from when you so guys different played. as to how you can approach a player things that you can say um what the coaches are trying to do um, with their players and they're so sensitive if you talk to a player about hitting or whatever you got a guy with a, that's next to me here the lifetime 297 at 11 gold gloves and he may see something that a player or a fielder or a hitter is doing and he might want to impart some of his knowledge well some of the coaches get bothered by that mm -hmm. so you have to be very sensitive with that um, and just realize that Whenever I talk to a hitter, I always make a point to go and tell the coach what I said to him. Now, I had a wonderful example the other day where um, Al, um, Altuve and Alvarez and Pena, our shortstop, came to me on the field and said, Reggie, uh, would you come over and talk to us and tell us how you prepared for postseason? how you prepared for big at bats, what your thought process was, etc. And we had a conversation for probably 40 minutes mm. where it was interactive. They asked questions and then asked, could we do this again? And so certainly makes me feel good. Um, and I know that all players, whether it's Willie Randolph or whether it's Keith Hernandez, you want to leave your knowledge to the young kids that are playing today and do your best to make the game better. Now, have you seen much of Alonzo hit? Yes. Oh, yeah. What do you think? What's your opinion of him? I love his power. <laughs> I love his power. I love his attitude. I love his presence. Uh, he's he's just a true big man oh, with big power and uh, relentless. He doesn't get hurt. He don't get sick. He's, he's going to be there every day. You know, that's a nice thing about He kind of reminds me of a modern-day Harmon Killebrew. He's just that big uh, I, I would, quintessential cleanup hitter, right-hand power. Whenever hitter. you whenever you go to New York, you're going to see Pete Alonso. He ain't going to be hurt. He's not going to have a toothache. He's not going to have something wrong with his eye. He, he's going to be he, he's going to be a headache. He's going to be your headache. Well, this was anything but <laughs> a headache for us. Reggie Jackson, what an incredible surprise. We're going to go to yes. break as we have a pitching change. So nice to meet Steve, you. Thanks good so to much. meet you. And Reggie. Keith, always a pleasure. Great to see you. I'm so glad you popped in. Thanks, man.